off, then we're getting married. Mom's already signed the emancipation papers. I'm not laughing. Someone who claims she's ready to be treated like an adult probably shouldn't be such a little snot. Also, I'm pregnant. Enough! When we get you home, Jerry, I'm gonna be please? having a long talk with your mother about this. Come on, Dad. We both know that'll be worse for you than it is for Jerry, me. Jerry, please. I'm already grounded for I life. Really so it doesn't matter if you rat me out for smoking. It's a filthy habit, Jess. All right, enough! I apologize. I'm sorry. Jess, we will finish this later. How can I help? We have a situation. The only way around the door to the power plant is that vent. And Jess is the only one of us who might fit inside. Absolutely not. My daughter has clearly shown that she can't be trusted with her own safety. She doesn't leave my sight from now on. We're just gonna have to find another salute. Jess? Jesse? Jess? It's okay. Pretty sure the dinosaurs haven't been using that vent. What vent? What? What dinosaurs? Oh my god. Jess. Well done, Jess. Thanks. Okay, listen up. We need to release the steam pressure to prevent any more buildup. What are we looking for? A power console. And probably a master release valve. Look, Dad, I'm sorry. I was just trying to... You were just trying to ignore everything I said! Now just stay where I can see you this time. Okay. I will. I mean it. Sorry. See that large valve wheel up there? I think that's the pressure release we're looking for. I'll handle it. Wait until I turn the power off to release the pressure. Otherwise, the system won't properly reset. Got it. That looks like the power console, up there, at the top of the ladder. We can't pump the capacitor until the steam is vented. Too risky. We don't want to close the circuit without charging the capacitor first. All right. Looks like we pressed open the circuit in order to turn the power off. Here goes nothing. Press to open. That does make sense. It does now. So, when do we close the circuit? After we charge the capacitor. Very good. Yeah, well, you already told her the answer. How hard was that? Are you trying to tell us something, Mr. Yoder? We need to vent the steam before we turn the power on. No good. I'm gonna need some help. Could you guys give me a hand with this valve? It won't budge. Sure, we open pickle jars too. Okay, on three. One, two, three! <laughs> Stop! Stop! We got this! Oh, I mean it shouldn't take that much force to turn the valve. There must be some kind of motorized assist for it. If you force it, you could break something. I'll have a look. If there is a motor, you'll need to disconnect it before it'll turn manually. I'm glad that lava flow is so far below us. Any closer and the heat would be unbearable. Looks just like a smokestack.
That compartment there. That could house the motor we're looking for. I'll check it out. holding the motor in. Great, but we don't have any tools. Don't need any. It's just a latch. That's handy. I guess the need to yank that thing out in a hurry was anticipated. <laughs> I got it! Perfect. Let's try it again. All we need now is to turn the power back on. First charge the pump, then close the circuit. You, uh, need any help? I'm quite capable, thank you. One. Press to close light, it means the charge is pumped. Right. I'm going to close the circuit and turn the power back on. Please don't blow up, please don't blow up, please don't blow up. I think you'll find we have nothing to worry about. What's happening? Laura? Nothing to worry about, huh? It's all right, everyone. It's just a fail-safe measure to protect the plant. We probably set it off when we disconnected the motor or something else. Everything is just fine. If you say so. Raptors! Run for the ladder, Nemo, before they can cut you off. Let's try! Controls. They're completely fried. Thank you. Can't these doors be open manually? I'm afraid not. The only way we can get them open is by using the controls by the doors where we came in. I'm on it. What? No, no way. That's suicide. He's right. The Raptors wouldn't have come back if they were still afraid of you. I'll just have to give them a new reason to be scared then. Can we at least talk about this? I'm the only one's got a chance to get to that control panel. Maybe, but who says you have to go alone? I do. Look, Billy, we gotta get these people out of here. I figure they got no chance with both of us gone. Crap. Okay, I want everyone to hang tight while I figure this out. You're going to be fine. What's the plan? Working on it. I'll let you know. Bright ideas?
I could get down that way. I've made jumps that wide before. All right. I want you to tempt those raptors by creeping down the ladder. Oh, okay. Before, I thought you were nuts, but that sounds like a great plan. You got something better? You can always throw the doctor lady down there. That would distract them. Don't go. You could die. Don't count me out yet. Give me a diversion, will ya? Couple of seconds at least. Got it. Hey. Thanks. Not a great start. <laughs> He makes it back. Try not to worry. The man has skills. I thought you hated him. But I respect his ability. If anyone can do this, he can. Oscar! Company! Hey! Hey, hey, check this out, huh? Nice, tasty drumstick! Too slow, you dumb lizard! Actually... That's it. Just keep focused on Billy. Actually... That's it. Just keep focused on Billy. Oscar, 
can get up. Get up! Get up, get up! That was their fear response. Something about this place scares them. But even if they weren't scared, you look ready to hold them off. Thanks. And I'm glad I didn't have to. Are you okay, Billy? What the hell do you think? What Oscar did was very brave. When we get back, we're gonna make sure he is duly recognized for his- You think I care about that crap? Let's just give him some space. Five minutes! Just, just give me five minutes and I'll be fine! I know what you people think of us. Bunch of blue-collar grunts, right? Bunch of high school dropouts. We're replaceable. We don't think that! We don't! Tell him! Oscar was worth a thousand of you, and he knew it! And he still died to save your ass! So don't tell me how you're gonna honor him! You don't deserve okay, to! Okay, okay! What can we do? Nothing! I said I'll be fine, remember? All I need is space. I know we've got a lot on our minds, but whatever spooked those raptors might be nearby. Laura's right. I need everyone to be alert while she and I search the room. What is that? Hey, it smells like the jungle. Only more rotten. Jess, you don't want to see this. Nima, could you... Yeah. Come with me, Jess. Try not to look, okay? My god, he's alive! His pulse is faint, but it's there. Look for bite marks. Bite marks? Yes, yes, they look just like... Just like the ones Nima had, I know. He's alive, but only technically. He's paralyzed and almost certainly brain dead. This is the Venom's final stage. This guy's dressed a lot like you, Billy. Does he have a tattoo on his arm? Like mine? Yes, yes he does. Laura. Eggs. It is a nest. I thought the structure looked like the nest of a cassowary, maybe an emu, but without eggs I couldn't be sure. Yes, but... but they're inside him. 
If you'd asked me five minutes ago, I'd have told you such behavior didn't exist outside of class and secta, but Whoa. now... He's a human being! I I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. What the hell's going on over there? Is he alive or not? He's alive, but in a comatose state. Something has laid eggs in his abdomen. Something what?! The victim is being kept alive by- Decaf! I'm sorry? The victim is Daniel Kafaro. Another throwaway grunt. Oh my god. I knew they'd gotten out somehow, but I never thought- Knew about this? You knew? I'll kill you! What are you doing? Warning! Keep back! Come on! Think this through! 